Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 31st, 2025. Welcome to another survival day on the planet, and happy Halloween, my friends and family. As we have a pretty scary sun right now, multiple activities going on. We've got plasma filaments, we've got earth-facing coronal holes, and we've got a very active backside sunspot region that is just starting to crest around the northwestern limb of our sun. This is a look at the last three hours from this afternoon as SDO is still down, showing the incoming active sunspot region plasma filament stretched across the surface on the left-hand side there, which would be the southern hemisphere. And now looking at outgoing, little earth to scale, which is truly amazing and stunning. We're going to see some more plasma filaments here. Stay tuned. Lots of activity going on. Solar Cycle 25 definitely putting on a show so far. Here is a look at 193 angstroms. Darkened black cooled regions on the sun are the coronal holes. Coronal hole wind stream is now affecting us with solar winds up and over 700 kilometers per second. You can see in the top left there, just recently there was a strong C class solar flare, and there are the plasma filaments that we are going to be watching over the next 24 hours to possibly release. So stay tuned, stay, stay subscribed, and please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying all this information shared and prepared for you. Much love, and thanks for watching. Here is a look at our sun, just another amazing way to see all the activity that our sun brings. Closer look here at the sunspot regions as we have two that are turning away and as well this big guy cresting into view, which has produced at least two X-class solar flares on the backside of the sun, and we've seen multiple coronal mass ejections this week. Current space weather conditions are none to report. Solar winds are coming in right now at 563 kilometers per second. You can see the solar X-ray flux with a strong C7 solar flare. Solar proton flux steadily rising, and geomagnetic activity was up to a KP5 throughout the day yesterday. Here's a look at the space weather spiral and the now affecting coronal hole wind stream. We're going to see some doozies here over the next few days. This is showing all the coronal mass ejections in the top diagram and in the bottom diagram are showing the coronal hole wind stream and coupled with the CMEs. So we are going to be affected a slighting glancing blow from this next coronal mass ejection and the ensuing coronal hole increased solar winds. Here's a look at LASCO 3 showing all of the coronal mass ejections since the 28th as we've seen four very large coronal mass ejections due to plasma film interruptions and as well solar flares on the backside of the sun. So stay tuned as that sunspot region will be coming around for the Earth-facing party. It's going to show us all of its might. This is a look at wide spectrum showing all the cosmic energies leaving our sun for the past three days. Lasco 3. And no sight of Atlas back there. But it's back there somewhere. And it's just a comment. Just saying. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's as there is a slight chance for and likelihood of Aurora now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. What's shaken? Well, I did put out an earthquake warning video yesterday after we saw a very deep earthquake in the Fiji region, which was over 606 or yeah, 660 kilometers per second. This is showing the last 24 hours. Let's just boost it up for the last 48 hours. And this is where we saw the very deep 4.8, 663 kilometer depth earthquake prompting the earthquake warning video. So we did see a large earthquake and in a rare region, South Indian Ocean, Southeast Indian Ocean, sizable 6.0 magnitude earthquake. And that's the largest the last 24 hours. Increasing seismicity and just recently there at the Philippines, Tala Volcano, large eruption just the other day. Also a large eruption at the White Island Volcano, New Zealand. Look at all the activity through up in Indo Fiji, minor seismicity at Hawaii, 
and all the activity off the coast of the United States and British Columbia, 5.4 there, and notable 4.1 earthquake there, Hamilton, Bermuda, right underneath Hurricane Melissa. And just a week ago, when Hurricane Melissa was in the Caribbean, rocking a 6.5 earthquake. So, notable earthquakes around the world. This is showing the last 24 hours for shakers and movers, largest being the 6.0 that just occurred today in the Southeast Indian Ocean. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for earthquakes, deepest being the Fiji earthquake, 663 kilometer depth, largest being the 6.5 earthquake at Guadalupe. Amazing stuff here, the heartbeat of our planet as Earth changes and we go through these cycles together, mainly driven by our sun. All of the solar cycles keep changing our planet over time, growing, shrinking, and growing, and tipping, and tilting. Much love, everybody. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes pointing out to major plumes that are happening right now as there was quite a sizable eruption at the Fuego Volcano in Guatemala. And as well, notable regions there, eastern Russia, Alaska. No major eruptions to report here or no major ash and particulate plumes to report as nothing has been updated for today no major eruptions but notable so2 coming out of the caribbean speaking of which let's have a look at hurricane melissa as it raged just south of J uh, jamaica and then eventually raked right across the island devastating the island thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected just complete and utter devastation. Now look at these monstrous systems coming in off the North Pacific, churning into Alaska and British Columbia. Having a look now at satellite imagery showing Hurricane Melissa as it raked across Jamaica and Cuba, and as well a notable system that cruised across the United States that brought almost two months of rain worth in about two days. This major system was fueled by Hurricane Melissa as it sucked up a lot of the moisture from the hurricane and dumped it all on eastern Canada and northeastern United States and then the Atlantic provinces. Here is a look overlooking the west coast as it's still been very dry and here's the system I was talking about as it raced across the United States. Very strong low vortices. And look at all these big guys cruising in off the Northeast Pacific. Lots of snow falling across British Columbia and as well the Pacific Northwest. Stay tuned, everybody. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Very large lows in both the Atlantic and Pacific. I've been broadcasting here for eight years and some major systems and ships are happening now pointing out all the major low pressure systems that will be affecting the United States and parts of Western Europe as these Atlantic hurricanes tend to cruise towards the United Kingdom. Some big systems in the long range will be dumping a lot of snow. Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll give you a full detailed snow forecast. Again, I want to thank you all for watching today. Daily evaporation rains across South America will be heavy at times and producing a strong low pressure system there affecting Buenos Aires. Long range forecast. Other than that, daily evaporation rains across Africa and multiple cold lows starting to invade most of Europe. We've got a possible typhoon here developing for the northern Philippines. We'll be keeping you updated here over the next 48 hours to see if it turns into a major typhoon. But some pretty strong systems here in the Northwest Pacific. And they all cruise straight up into the Bering Strait and across Alaska. 
Amazing times to be alive. And thank you so much for subscribing, everybody. Over 90,000 strong. I appreciate all of you watching. I love your spirits and your comments. Please don't forget to give some love. Give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. This is a look at our polar vortex right now. Northern polar vortex is definitely setting up. Velocity has changed just over the last couple of days. And looking at the southern polar vortex, it has completely broken down. As you can see, they're stretched right across Antarctica, having no form whatsoever. That means the winter is about to shift from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere. Amazing visuals here of our polar vortex southern and our northern polar vortex. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared.